good day YouTubers. So what I've got you for you today is uh, one particular product but I'm going to also compare it to another two that are similar but something that's um, I find very important to me which is in the mountain bike world the wide range cassette. So I've been waiting for this for a couple of weeks but it's just popped in today and that is the VG Sport uh, 11 to 50 tooth 11 speed cassette. Uh, now this also comes under a few other names. It's also known as a, a Sunshine, uh, Zito, uh, or um, Bolani, which might be the name for it. Um, now it's, it's also worth saying at this point that Zito, um, although their product looks identical according to their website, is a slightly different uh, range or gear spread. So just looking at this one, we've got a cassette here. It's made in China. 11 speed, 11 to 50 tooth. We've got a um, reported weight on the website, which is 363 grams, wait for it, plus or minus 20 grams. So that's gonna be really funny when I get that one on scale, plus or minus 20 grams, that's huge tolerance. Um, the uh, gear spread on this one is 11, 13, 15, 18, 21, four, uh, 24, 28, 32, 36, 42, and 50. Um, we're looking at uh, an alloy and high tensile steel construction, uh, and it's, it's quite fascinating, this particular one, in the way it's actually been made. So we'll just have a quick breakdown and have a look at it. So we'll just remove the locking ring, the top one's here. So we'll just pull back a little bit so we can have a bit of a look. So. The actual um, bottom ones here, the last four um, gear sets here are all milled out of one piece of aluminium. So all on the, the same aluminium spider. So a, a really nice piece of engineering milling here. You know, the, there's no there's no dags on this, there's no rough areas on this. It, it's just a really, really nice piece of actual construction. So putting this aside, bringing in the next part, which is your, your middle gears here. And this would be made up, this is your, let's have a quick look. So we've got the first three here. So we're looking at the 18, the 21, 24. So 18, 21, 24. That's right, 28 is on the, the other one. So what we've got here is an alloy spider in the middle. Each one of these here are high tensile steel and then they're riveted to that particular spider. The other rings here are all high tensile steel made in the traditional way that uh, we often see Shimano do theirs. So there's a spacer in between these two and then this one has an inbuilt spacer here and so does the last one, an inbuilt spacer. Locking ring, uh, also I believe an alloy, um, quite heavy actually, quite interesting to get this on the scale in a minute. So let's put this on the scale and have a look at it. A bit of an assumption here that my scale is actually accurate. So we get 380 grams, so there you go, there's your plus minus 20 grams. I'm not sure if that's a... Uh, slight marketing faux pas of uh, let's um, make up a really light weight, let's make it 360 grams, let's get it around about X01 sort of territory um, or XX1 territory and uh, we'll put plus minus 20 on it because it's not really there. Uh, in saying that, I can, I can shave some weight off this by simply replacing the locking ring. So we've got 15 grams on the locking ring right there. Here's one that uh, another Chinese brand that I've ordered in, coming in at a, it won't even weigh. We just need to reset this to zero. We'll quickly check this again. 17 grams, six grams. Interesting story why I ordered this, which we'll, we'll lead into in a second. Now, let's bring this in against, for weight purposes, the Sunrace 1150 quite a famous brand now. 
many even OEM bikes have this uh, now spec on them. So we'll look at 515 grams. The manufacturer's claimed weight on this is 512 grams. That could just be an error in my scale. So we'll give it, it's, it's 512 grams. Uh, same spread of gears, identical to the VG Sport that we had on just before. Now, let's bring in a European brand, the Garbrook 1150. Now this thing is a, is a piece of uh, engineering marvel. So we're looking here at 312 grams. Manufacturer's claimed weight is 311 grams. This cassette is lighter than, um, than X01, XX1 SRAM. Um, what I can tell you is, is this cassette has a life in it as well too. This particular cassette you're looking at here has been on a bike for 300 kilometers, so it's not, not a great deal. But I have another cassette which has now been on a bike for well, I think we've gone up to about 1500 kilometers, it may even be plus, I need to go back and have a look at Strava, and still shifting really well and showing no signs of wear. So, great, um, great cassette. We'll put them side by side and we'll have a little bit of a talk through each one. So an interesting uh, little note here is that the, the, the locking ring uh, for the Garbarook is purchased um, additionally to the uh, cassette itself, whereas each one of these actually comes with the locking ring standard. Um, the locking ring on this only weighs about five, uh, five grams, but um, we had uh, considerable issues with this thing actually staying locked. Uh, and it's built so light that, um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of an issue. So we ordered in um, just some Chinese made ones, which have been absolutely terrific and are only one gram heavier. Um, you know, we're looking at a $3 item here as against something that was, it was nearly $30 Australian, this particular one. So just zoom out, have a little bit of a look at these cassettes, have a little bit of a talk about them. So again, um, looking at the weights of these things, the manufacturer's claimed weights versus real weights. So um, we'll give them this one, 311 grams plus minus 2% is what they put down. That's what I got on my scales, 100% accurate. Um, as I said, the, the Garbrook itself is, is absolute engineering masterpiece. It's made these top rings here are all made of one piece of, of steel that has been um, milled. So they're not riveted on or anything like that. This is one piece of um, steel, absolute engineering masterpiece. The 50 tooth here is then riveted onto the back um, and it makes this cassette uber light. So this is the same type of construction as SRAM uh, X01XX1. Um, Having a look at the Sunrace in the middle here, again, um, pretty spot on. Uh, we got about 515 grams. They claim it at 512 grams. Give them that. So it's 512 grams. Um, just jumping back to this one, Garbrook is a Ukrainian company. Um, uh, they make a whole heap of um, components of, of cassettes and also chain rings. They also make... Um, derail cages as well to improve shifting but we'll come back to that um, Sunrace reliable now these days often spec on uh, OEM bikes the 1150 tooth shifts impeccably this is a, a great uh, cassette around $200 uh, Australian this is around $300 Australian um, quite a dear cassette uh, and then we come to the VG Sport. This is a Chinese made cassette and comes in at only $125. So in saying that, what they claim for their weights will give them back in the price. Uh, because let's face it, you could buy two or three of these for the same price as the others. Shifting performance. That's interesting and we will, I will do another video where I will uh, demonstrate the shifting performance between each one. Um, I've spent some time on this cassette. I've spent very little time on this cassette at this point. Uh, I've spent considerable time 
on the the Garbrook cassette. Um, as I said before, though I've done uh, probably well over 2,000 kilometers on a, on two Garbrook cassettes. This one's only got about 300 on it. I've got another one with uh, around 1,500 kilometers on it. Now, which one do I think is the best shifting one at this point? It's close between two, to be honest. Um, the ever reliable Sunrace is uh, as close as you're going to ever get to OEM shifting. In fact, I can't pick the difference between that and, and an OEM cassette. The shifting performance is fantastic. Um, easy to tune, you set it up, it, it works flawlessly on either an XT or I've tested on both XT and uh, an SLX um, M8000 or 7000 uh, long caged um, rear derailleur. Absolutely fantastic. Right behind that, and I still can't pick the difference between them, is definitely the VG Sport. That was the, at this point, that's the surprise to me, is how good the VG Sport actually shifts. Um, it's comparable to the, the Sunrace, it's comparable to an original equipment um, cassette. The one that probably pains me the most, the one I wanted to work the most was the, uh, the best, is of course the um, marvel of engineering, the uber light Garbarok cassette. Uh, shifting performance has been has been questionable. Um, it's I've had um, you know expert shop bike mechanics look at it. I've tuned hundreds and hundreds of bikes. We just can never get this thing perfectly tuned or tuned as well as these other two cassettes on this this particular table. And for the money, I would expect uh, actually more. Um, in saying that, I've I've also used the um, the Garbarok cassette on both SRAM and also Shimano. It is better on the SRAM, but again, it is just not perfect. The, the, um, it just mucks around in its shift. It doesn't upshift fast enough, and sometimes it holds onto its downshift. And, and you just can't tune that out. And I know that my uh, rear, um, rear hangers are perfect. I know my rear derailleur is perfect. Because, you know, we come around and we look at you know, immediately put on the Sunrace cassette, shifting is perfect. Absolutely flawless. So, at this point, how does my review go? Well, the uh, surprise to me is how good the, the VG, um, VG Sport cassette actually is for the money. You can buy two of those for one Sunrace. You can buy three of them for one, um, one Garbrook cassette. So, even if it only lasted half as long, I'm still a winner here. Um, you know, compare that to the weights of four, four, five hundred dollar SRAM uh, X01 cassettes. This thing is an absolute winner. I could now buy you know four or five of them. So I would say yes. It, it, this stage is worth it. Long term review. Well, that'll remain to be seen as I give this a really hard time on the mountain bike tracks. Um, so yeah, any questions? You know, please leave your comments below, and I'll do my best to uh, answer them and. Hey, you know, help support, subscribe. Uh, look, thank you very much for watching and uh, look forward to uh, bringing you some more videos.